All right, Coach, if you just want to kind of start us off with an opening statement yeah, about you your thoughts on uh, yeah. today's scrimmage. Yeah, it was really good. Had our first scrimmage. Um, uh, we've had some move the ball sessions where we, we go through situations, but uh, today it was full live go. Um, really just two groups, ones and twos, and uh, went back and forth and um, did a lot of just open field stuff, you know, just rolling the ball out there and playing. Uh, with only, you know, six games last year and uh, really one scrimmage last fall. For us, it's just being in those game situations and having those moments to be able to take to the film room and discuss on each side of the ball and learn from and continue to grow. But uh, got a couple plays down on the goal line. We haven't, we haven't focused on it a lot yet in the first seven practices. So today was a little rough down there, maybe on the goal line inside the three. Um, but we, you know, we'll focus on that a lot more going to the next scrimmage. So, all in all, a good day. Uh, love the competitiveness the guys bring, um, the energy. Uh, just it's been consistent. I think is the biggest thing, week uh, day in and day out. Are there any players in the twos that really stood out to you and kind of challenged one of some of the ones possibly in that position battle? Uh, any players in the twos? Um, yeah, I think our running back position is probably really competitive with kind of who who the two and. And who those next guys are. Uh, I saw some some times where guys made some really nice plays, and you can see they're hungry to to win that two spot. Uh, Malik, Biggs, uh, Jordan, Wilmore, Mims, you know, all those guys. I thought again they were taking some reps with the ones as well, but uh, I think those guys really, um, you know, uh, did a lot of, of really good things. I think, um, you know, we're not overly deep right now with with the offense defensive line, so. I think you got most of those guys, the most part set. You got some rotation going on the defensive line. Uh, I like our, I like our, our guys in the twos, you know, um, and the competitiveness at the end. Uh, uh, I think Mosby's really coming along, playing the end, um, and uh, probably at the Mike linebacker position between uh, Tyson Maeva, uh, Malachi, and Mello. Uh, just got got a lot of guys right there. That uh, it's good to see getting out and. And way better than where you know I felt we were at last fall. So we could go on and on down the list, but uh, you know it's getting it's really competitive. And the best thing is the guys are working together and they're pushing each other to be great. Uh, but in the end, they're still great teammates, helping each other out. Were there any uh, highlight plays you can share from uh, the scrimmage? Um, you know I thought I thought uh, uh, as we went on offensively, I think you start there. Uh, if I start there. You know, as the scrimmage went along, uh, there became a few more explosive plays. Got the ball in, in Cropper's hands uh, a few times, and, and he did some really nice things. Converted some third downs and fourth downs even. Um, I thought he did, did a really nice job. And Jake, I think, continued to find a groove. I think there's such a fine line. You know, he wants to do so much. Just making sure he doesn't try to do too much. Um, and, and just kind of fall into that rhythm like he did for most of the season last year. Um, you know, I think uh, defensively, we, we continue as a group to put good pressure, consistent pressure. Now it's a matter, are we getting home? And when the quarterback's live, it's kind of a tough call, you know, but I know our D line will put a lot of hits on guys as a collective. I think Kevin Atkins continues to, to play really well. Um, you know, Paralysis is, 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 is a beast off the edge and uh, consistently there. So. Um, I really like the way those guys are playing. I think our communication on defense has gotten a lot better. Our energy has gotten a lot better. And uh, you know, now you're mixing and matching guys and just trying to find the right combinations that can, uh, can work together and, and kind of get you over the top. Is there anyone emerging next to Kevin on the interior D-line? Uh, I know Lawson was getting a lot of reps before break. Yeah, I think Matt's been the most consistent. He's, uh, I think, practiced every single, every single day, uh, taking a ton of reps. Um, I think Leonard Payne's come along. Um, he's a much bigger body, uh, take, kind of mod, mod, modifying his reps a little bit. So, um, but he's really come along, and he's what we need. You know, we need some some more beef up front, and some guys that he can still move even given his size, and and has done a nice job. I think over the course of the entire spring, not necessarily just in today's scrimmage. You mentioned uh, the running backs, the twos. Uh, is Jordan physically where he was at when you were here last? Is, is there still anything lingering from that injury? Yeah, I think uh, I think he looks considerably better than where he was even last fall. And um, um, I just I know we've been push, pushing him hard because we know what he can be, and uh, I know he knows that too. But uh, we've been just pushing him hard in the off season. He's pushed himself, and so. Uh, I think he's come a long ways just in the last couple months physically again and excited about 
what he's bringing back to the table, uh, much like what he was in his early years for sure. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned Cropper made a few plays today. Is there a different dimension with his offseason work that you've mentioned before? You know, right we now? still got the stuff. Where we're just getting him the ball in space, <laughs> even if it's short throws. But I think he's really, I think he's really progressing as an all-around complete receiver. You know, um, he converted some balls today and on longer down the distances, and you know that's what you want. You want a go-to guy when it really matters, um, not just a guy that gets the explosives on first and second downs when it's. Uh, when the pressure's maybe not quite as big. So uh, um, I think he, he's he's taking it all in and he's trying to use every moment as a learning learning opportunity. So um, I think Josh Kelly did some nice things too. He's just super consistent and taking advantage of his opportunities as well. How was the second cornerback and safety spot looked? I mean, you got Braylon, you got Evan, but anyone else in the secondary kind of stepping up this spring ball, opening your eyes? At, at the safety and corner? Yeah, safety and corner. Yeah, I think uh, Duran's done a nice job. You know, just consistent coming in, being new, learning the defense. Uh, I think he's consistent. You body type wise, he's he's a, he's much bigger, you know, than uh, kind of what we've had. So, um, you know, figuring out his skill set and where how he can best be used, whether it's at corner or even other positions. Um, he's a huge asset to our team as well. On top of you know what uh, Braylon and, and Wayland have done, you know, uh, especially coming off the of heels of last year. Um, I think. You know, at safety, uh, Deontay Perry's been just consistent, you know, over and over again. And man, he wants it so bad. You can just see uh, the attention to detail and how, how focused he is even just in meetings. I mean, there is a focus and intensity in a meeting when he's there. And uh, couple that with, you know, uh, what Evan consistently has done in his, you know, short career even. Um, and, and I'm excited about what LJ Early is able to do now that he's able to practice. You know, a year ago coming off an injury, no off, no off season, and uh, now he's getting those meaningful reps. And being down a couple of linemen, uh, what have you learned about Nick Abs, Tyron Sampson, and even uh, Alex Duck and Bulu? I'm sure they're getting a lot of other reps right now. I think uh, Bulu is the best. Again, I'm, I'm just going off of last fall, really, because I didn't see him last spring play. Um, but I think he's the best he's looked um, since I've been here, I know, uh, and, and worked with him. Um, and then Nick as well. Nick Abs uh, um, put on some really good weight this offseason. Uh, fired up about that. He's, he's made an over-the-top commitment to taking that next step with getting his body where it needs to be. Um, you know, when those years are counting down, uh, you know, the details become even greater. And, and uh, he knows that this is it for him. So uh, big, big big offseason he's had and he's building on that and it's carrying over to what he's doing on the football field. Thank you coach. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys.